from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. Most athletes fear tearing their ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament in the knee. For an athlete whose sport requires a lot of jumping and running, the knee joint must cope with significant impact forces. In the U.S., more than 150,000 people a year suffer ACL injuries. Rehabilitation often involves surgery and a person may be idle for as long as a year. Athletes now are doing year-round competition in a single sport, so they're not getting the same kind of variability in the types of movements that they're doing. I think that's putting wear and tear on that particular ligament or their knee in general. Hawkins just completed a study to measure the forces on the knee of UC Davis women basketball players. Female athletes are especially vulnerable to the injury. Nice getting out there. What we're looking at is how it relates to the knee joint itself. Does the force act in front of the knee, behind the knee? Have you been able to make recommendations? Yeah, we made recommendations to a variety of coaches, and the real thing in our opinion is that the coaches be involved in watching the mechanics as the student athletes do their different drills. If they can use good mechanics now, then it's going to save their ACLs in the long run. The UC Davis women's basketball coach says learning how to reduce the stress on the knee is important. If you can teach the kids the proper biomechanics at a young age, starting with youth, say in youth leagues, I think there's a real possibility. After altering their jumping technique, the athletes in this study were able to reduce the force on the knee joint by nearly 60 percent. Paul Fotenauer reporting from UC Davis. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.